So what appears to be just this strange little piece of gravel is an antlion larva. Look at those mandibles. See that one? Kicking up soil, see that one? Cleaning up their burrows. All right, well we caught a few little ants and now we're gonna show you guys where they get that name, antlion. Let's go and take a look at this big one down here. Okay, everybody, and welcome back to Jackson River Wildlife. Now, as you can see, we are sheltering from the midday heat underneath this 18-wheeler. Um, and look what we have happened upon. A lovely group of antlion larva. Now, what is an antlion, you may ask? Well, it's an interesting little, primarily nocturnal, carnivorous invertebrate. And I'm going to entice one of their larvae out to show you guys. All right. So the reason they're called antlions at this stage is because as juveniles, they make these funnel-shaped nests in sandy soil. See, see that movement? It believes an ant has wandered in and has been trapped in this funnel. And now it's going to try and flick the sand up to meet the ant to get it to fall in to its trap. Because this larva rests at the bottom and it hunts these ants. Nope, I might have spooked this one. I don't see him grab on anything. Let's try this other big one. Gotcha. They're these very strange subterranean larvae that feed on the juices of other insects. So they grab them with these huge mandibles and then they make a quick meal. Okay, well that one's hiding now too. Let's do this. soil here. So what appears to be just this strange little piece of gravel is an antlion larva. So you can see those giant mandibles at the front of this creature's head. What a strange animal. Is that not weird looking? So he sits at the bottom of his little burrow and he rests this big abdomen set down right in the center of these little cones and he sits those mandibles right underneath the surface and when he feels the vibration of an insect rummaging around the rim of his little nest he boom flicks sand up there hits the ant the ant catapults down to the center look at this watch him move backwards falls down to the center is grabbed with those powerful mandibles and then sucked dry until all that's left is an empty exoskeleton which this animal then launches back out of his little nest take a look is that not an interesting oh look at him trying to bite me look at those mandibles what a weird looking animal just a fat body and just those weird sharp claws the mandibles i mean wow isn't that weird now as adults these animals can kind of resemble 
lace wings or owl flies, if you've ever seen those. Um, kind of thin, clear um, wings. And of course, um, they are still carnivorous um, through much of their life. So they're still preying on other insects primarily at night. But watch this, if I set him back down, he will burrow immediately. So let's clear him a little spot to show you guys. So here he goes, little antlion. Watch him. Are you gonna burrow? You gonna burrow? Here he goes, underneath the soil. Let's see if we can get uh, get another one to show you guys. A big one, big one. That's a pretty good size one, but it's so crazy because you can see them like kick soil ugh, out of these little uh, funnels. Let's see if I can get some to, oh yeah, look at these. So look at them. If you blow a little bit, see that one? Kicking up soil, see that one? Cleaning up their burrows. That one's flicking soil. Isn't that so interesting? But you can see them like right at the very center of those combs. I think this one, oh yeah, this one's kicking up soil now. If you blow a little bit of dirt in there, they keep very good care of their little burrows because they don't want, you know, an ant finding something it can climb on. So they flick out any other sizable debris. But these are really, really interesting. Have you guys ever seen these before? Um, I used to catch these as a kid when I was little in East Texas um, because we had lots of little sandy areas at my grandparents' house. And I was like, what is in the bottom of these? And I would sprinkle ants in there for them to eat. Should we go find an ant to feed these ant lions? Let's go catch an ant. I bet that'd be really cool to show you guys. All right, well, we caught a few little ants and now we're gonna show you guys where they get that name, Ant Lion. Let's come and take a look at this big one down here. Oh, oh did you see that? He grabbed it immediately. Grabbed that little ant. Oh no. Here, let's, let's feed one of these ones. So you can see these these little funnels are perfectly adapted. And it's still in there. Okay. See how he's grabbing that ant with his mandibles and then pulls it under the surface. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's pretty cool, huh? So they grab that ant after it falls down and can't get out of that funnel. They grab it, they thrash him around, they break that exoskeleton open and they suck out all the fluids. Well, I hope you guys learned something about these really cool little antlion larvae. Um, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, buy our new merch, um, and stay tuned for more super cool and awesome invertebrate content because I am filming a ton of stuff. Sorry, I thought I saw something cool. It's just a little toad. But thank you so much for watching and tune in next time for Jack's World Wildlife.